In the UK, we have committed to reducing CO2 emissions by 100% by 2050. It's a massive challenge, and now more than ever, we need innovation to drive change. Hydrogen is an absolutely vital part of the plan. In the heart of the Midlands, a pioneering energy demonstration is underway. So when hydrogen is burnt, it doesn't produce any carbon dioxide, which is emitted into the atmosphere, but it still produces heat and energy. One third of the UK's carbon emissions is from heat, and that, to this date, has been hard to decarbonise. We're going to use hydrogen in the gas network. What we're trying to do at Kiel is put 20% by volume of hydrogen into the network. Essentially, the evidence base has now been um, developed and assessed um, by HSE to conclude that it should be no less safe uh, when blending hydrogen with natural gas than it is where we distribute natural gas today. 23 million customers in the UK are already connected to the world gas network that we have in the UK. From an infrastructure perspective, it makes a lot of sense to decarbonise the gas which is within the network already. If a hydrogen blend is distributed across the whole of the UK, that's the equivalent of saving 6 million tonnes worth of carbon which is proportionate to taking two and a half million cars off the road. When we look at net zero, there's going to be a number of options open to us, from electricity to pure renewables and green gas. So all have got a part to play. This isn't a competition between electricity and gas. The CCC report is absolutely clear. In order to hit our 2050 ambition, we need to move on all fronts and we need to move now. It doesn't matter how good the technology is, because in the end it will sink or swim with the with the public acceptability of it. And the majority of the, the participants in our study have actually been really proud to be part of the, the project. Well, sustainability is a key overarching strategic aim for Kiel. Try and embed it in all of our activities, in our research, our education, across the campus, the community, and in our external and business engagement. Aiming to be just genuine sector leader in low carbon sustainability. And High Deploy aligns incredibly well to all of that. If you want to hit the government 2050 targets of carbon neutrality or carbon neutral, um, you have to start utilising renewables and especially hydrogen uh, in line with a renewable energy source to create that. So wind power, tidal power, that stuff that then creates the electricity that creates the hydrogen, it's, it's the only way to meet those targets. I think. During this particular project, I've been responsible for a number of enabling works on the network to make sure that it's fit for purpose for the project itself. Uh, the installation of a gas chromatograph, gas sampling points, uh, the installation of eight test boilers that's going to be running during the project itself. I've assisted with the compound and probably more importantly as well, working with the HSL on getting an exemption on the gas safety case to enable us to provide uh, uh, a network that hydrogen can be incorporated in. The purpose of the Hydroploid project is to demonstrate that we can utilise and transport hydrogen blends safely in a live gas distribution network. What we've got here is, is the compound and the purpose of the compound is to firstly produce the hydrogen and then secondly to in inject it in into the keel network. Firstly what we do is we, we produce the hydrogen via the electrolyzer and in the electrolyzer we have um, water, so H2O, and also electrical current. The, the electrical current will split the water into hydrogen and then oxygen. The oxygen is vented into the atmosphere and the hydrogen is then transported into the buffer tank where it is stored and then from the buffer tank it goes into the good entry unit here. And in the good entry unit the, hy the hydrogen is mixed with the natural gas and then injected into the, the gas network and then from once it's in the gas network it goes to a, a governor, so a pressure reduction site and then into the wider keel network. This behind me is a gas chromatograph. Um, we've positioned this at the extremity of the network, its purpose is to measure gas composition. So by having it at the extremity, we can make sure that there's still hydrogen uh, within the network at the correct volume. We also have the support from the boiler manufacturers. We have Worcester Bosch, we have Valent, we have Ideal and Baxi. And they've provided for us between them eight boilers. One of those boilers from each manufacturer is operating on natural gas and one is operating on the blend. We are running those boilers very hard to represent a long life operation of those boilers. 
This allows us to make important tests and checks on those boilers as they're operating. I feel really excited about taking part in the high deploy demonstration. It's a really good project to be part of and it's especially good to be able to support it in the comfort of your own home. I've not noticed any difference using the blend in my home. For cooking and for heating it all is absolutely normal and you'd even barely notice it was there. The next stage is to scale this up. It's about doing it at a small scale, making sure we've got all of the wrinkles ironed out, and then we're going to start deploying it into the uh, communities in a year's time. And that's hugely exciting. The main benefits of Hydroplo North Northeast after uh, the project at Kiel is that we are repurposing the equipment. Uh, we're reusing the uh, hydrogen production equipment, the hydrogen grid entry unit, uh, and we're taking what we've learned and, and repurposing that for the trial in the Northeast. And because Hydroplot is an innovation project, it's fairly new territory. So the learning that we've taken from Kiel with regards to our customers and what it is that they want from us in a project team will be crucial when we go into the next phase and next demonstration project. What we need to do is address the evidence gap that we have following Kiel and then following the North East trial and then we can cover that in the North West. By the end of that six year period, we're looking to be at a position where we can then roll blending out across the UK. It is a pragmatic step to, to the transition to a hydrogen-based economy. So hydrogen as a concept is quite revolutionary, so it's, it, it's that thing off in the distance, but Hydroploy is translating that into an evolutionary, pragmatic change within the gas industry that's digestible and deliverable. My message to the new government is actually the time is now. We are now demonstrating that we can dramatically reduce the carbon intensity of our heating system with no impact on customers at all. We're coming together as an industry to solve a national challenge. We need a clear policy and a clear direction to enable us to travel at pace.